This video is for the fifth grade website project assignment three graphics. First, you're going to go to weebly.com and click on login in the top right corner. Click on G plus login. Then from here, you'll click on edit site. Next, what you're going to do is open up a new tab and you're going to search for pictures on your location. So for example, I did mine on the Freedom Trail. So I'm just gonna search Freedom Trail, click on images, and then find pictures that I wanna use. So um, anyway, what I'll do is I'll click on the picture and then two finger click on the picture that appears and choose save image as. And then from here, what you'll do is click on Google Drive and click on Save. So then from here, what you'll do is you're gonna pick out some more pictures um, and you wanna have at least five. So save image as, and it should automatically be in Google Drive now. Um, but anyway, so then what you're gonna do is make sure that you have your five pictures. So. And once you have your five pictures, what you're going to do next is you're going to go into Weebly and put them into a slideshow. So um, anyway, then the last thing, let's just save this last picture. Okay, so you'll go into Weebly. And then what you're going to do next is you're going to um, find where it says slideshow and you're going to click and drag the slideshow to go onto the right hand side. Um, you're going to choose a style, so for example I'm just going to choose thumbnails on bottom, click on continue, um, and then I'm going to click on upload photos from your computer. And then what should happen is you should see your photos, mine I have to scroll down a little bit to find them, but Anyway, what you're gonna do is you're going to click on your first photo and then hold control. And as you're holding control, what you're gonna do is click on your other photos. So when you're holding control, what it does is it lets you select multiple photos at once. Um, let go of control once you have all of them selected and then you're gonna click on open. So then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to click on um, the speech bubble for your questions. Um, or for, the question, for each of the, um, the pictures and you're going to add a caption and so basically what you want to do is just tell what it is that you're showing in the picture um, and you want to do that for each of your five pictures so you click on save so again I'll just show you with one more you click on the bubble type what you're showing and save um, once you've done that with all five you're going to click on save right here 